TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. That's my apologies, man. They doing construction on the building. Doesn't stop the grind. Merch. Patreon. Link in the description below. This is from Windows Channel. It's called Surviving the Dangerous Streets of Birmingham. Homeless in Britain. Let's get into it. There you go, folks. Welcome <laughs> to April Birmingham. I'm oh, sorry. That was one of the littest intros that I have come across. That was that was a vibe, Wendell. That was a good intro. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh at a old girl cussing out the monitor, but the way he came in the screen was legendary. You don't just slide anymore. This is out of Birmingham. They don't want you to see, huh? God damn. <coughs> Welcome to bankrupt Birmingham, the second largest city in the UK and the largest local authority in Europe is indeed bankrupt. You may ask yourself, how the hell did this happen? How did a city Wait, is it really with such bankrupt? gleaming buildings, how did it end up declaring its own bankruptcy this month, September 2023? Well, a mismanagement of local council funds, settlements for historical pay disputes. It's an absolute mess, but it's led to an unsustainable deficit. And consequently, we will without doubt see local Birmingham service do look cuts. Nice. And as always, it won't be the people at the top of these gleaming skyscrapers at the top of the Hyatt Regency. They won't be the people. Skyscrapers are stretched. They're nice. They're, they're tall buildings. Skyscrapers, I don't think so that suffer it will be the people at the bottom the very bottom of the poverty ladder and of course Birmingham has huge problems with poverty now the people at the very bottom of this poverty ladder they are without doubt the homeless and as with most towns in the UK big homeless problems in Birmingham acute problems one would say not even gonna lie, I think the homeless won't even be affected. They will not care. They will continue to be homeless, continue to make it happen as far as they need to make it happen. And that's it. <clears throat> now, any outreach programs might be stopped, but like, they're gonna find a way regardless. Now, there are some real problems with violent crime as well in Birmingham. It's a next level problem compared to the seaside towns that I filmed recently. So the people that live on the streets here, they encounter genuine danger and crime every day. So we're gonna walk around the streets of Birmingham today. We're gonna to meet some of the homeless people and ask them how dangerous is it living on the streets of Birmingham. Let's go. This is needed to be done. I like this. So what's your name, my friend? Uh, my name is Joseph. Essentially giving people a voice that normally don't have a voice. I like this. Joseph, and how long have you been in the streets here in Birmingham? Well, even the streets in Birmingham, I've been about three or four months because I had a flat before. But I was taken over by junkies. They ruined my, uh, my flat. They robbed me of everything. They destroyed everything. And the council said all I could do was give up the flat. I've just got a new place, maybe tomorrow. I'm in, in a new flat, so thank you God that I've got it. When did you learn to do this? Uh, 50 years ago. Okay, <laughs> so you should be an expert by now. Yeah, but you know when you get old, it gets harder to do all the tricks With and hands, things. yeah. I'm going to step back in case I get set on fire. So how dangerous is it? I did it not expect that. Well, it's fucking dangerous, believe me, it's not. Uh, you got to be careful. I always sleep where there's 
cameras and things. Yeah, and that's in the town, the city centre. Yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah. if people do do anything to me, at least they get caught. Then you know what I mean. Yeah, and what sort of things do people fall victim to? Homeless people. Well, like getting kicked when they're sleeping, uh, getting beaten up, getting their money taken off, and all kinds of things like that. And is that by other homeless people, people or is it really by really? members most, of the public as well? Mostly homeless people. Yeah. You know, who are really desperate. Yeah. You know, so you can understand that they have a problem, you know, it's not, uh, yeah. But it's not so nice when they take your money off you and... And you this is your little nothing. dog? This is your little dog? Yeah. Yeah, what's your dog's name? My name is Tar. Hello, Tar. Hello, sweetheart. And Tar um, can so go into your accommodation with you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, brilliant. I wouldn't go without my dog. No, no, your best friend. That's for money shot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like I ain't never been walking down the streets of Chicago and seen a homeless person juggling fire. Like ain't not never happened in my lifetime. <laughs> like this is the most talent that I've ever seen from a homeless man. No offense. But like I ain't never seen never seen it. <laughs> not gonna lie, he deserves people like y'all gotta stop watching drop coinage. Like this is this is lit, literally. Before I was here on the streets, I was uh, I was 45 years on the streets completely, all over Europe, all over France, well not just Europe, America also, all over France, Spain, Italy, Portugal, Romania, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Deutschland, Netherlands, Switzerland, yeah. Austria! Hey! How was he getting around? Austria, Belgium, America. Hey! You know the Nobel Prize, Austria, you son! Looking after you, mate. Hey, looking I after you. Honestly, every dog that passes, she goes crazy. She's looking after her dad, yeah, not her dogs. Yeah. yeah. She doesn't like dogs and people with sticks. No. Well, I don't blame her. Yeah. Well, dogs aren't to be scared of, and obviously I'm all right, aren't I, sweetheart? Please, I don't know all my stuff over. Unwavering concentration. <laughs> Well, it's concentrating on the free flow, so not just on, on what I'm doing. Yeah. So do you manage to get some donations from the flying Yeah, Yeah, not, it's not brilliant, but I can live from it, you know what I mean? So how much can you make a day from yeah, people do the Alessi. donating? It really depends. Some, I'm not joking, I've come out some days and made like three or four pounds, and I've come out other days and made 30, 40 pounds, so you never know. What's the main danger for you? I'm not gonna lie, like, I would drop a five. Like this is the, that is a good trick. That's crazy. I would go play for Circus Olay, so shoot, I'd get it for five dollars in the streets. I'm watching. I am watching. Oh yeah, like being, uh, being the main on the danger. Streets. These lunatics who come along and they're completely drunk and yeah. crazy. You get some very bad people there. You know, very aggressive and uh, yeah. Sweetheart, you've been ever so good. You're just looking after your dad, aren't you? Hey. You're gonna be okay soon. You're a good dog. You're a good dog. I always feel bad for the dogs every time. Baby, kana. Oh, no more construction. How convenient. Thank God. Like, take a lunch break. Dang. Reminisce to Center St. Martin's. 11.59 is my time hour. It is now precisely according to Martins and Martins. This is different gravy, folks. Who's she talking to? This is a different type of street life to the life that people have in the seaside towns of Britain that I've filmed so far. I'm not saying that the people that live in the seaside towns on the streets don't... This is the first time I ever watched it. This is W, this is W stuff. I'm not even... Suffer, so but they don't have it hard, but... The, uh, the violent crime rate. This man's doing a service, because otherwise than this, I would have no idea. It's so much higher in the city of Birmingham, especially for people that have nowhere to uh, rest their head in safety for the night. So let's walk around the fringes of the city centre and see if uh, anyone's willing to talk to us about their life on the streets here. What's your name? Laura Taylor. Laura Taylor. Yeah, nice to meet mom. you, Wendell. And you. What is life like on the streets? How dangerous is it living on the streets? I would say for me being on the streets, me and I'm very experienced, been 14 years. Very, very dangerous being out here, being in a homeless situation. It doesn't matter whether you're a man or female. It can happen to a woman, it can happen to a man. And what happens? It's a very, you can be 
physically abused, you could be sexually abused, you could be attacked. So some, what's going on here? I don't want to be disrespectful, but I do want, I'm, I'm curious to know what happened. Like, when you're asleep, anything could happen, you don't know. What could happen while you're asleep out here on the streets, mate? Like, you could be just walking by, you could be shot. I've been sexually abused within the last three, three years, been in London, travelled around. I've been physically abused, I've been attacked by males. And what do you do to protect yourself? What measures I, do you take? I have to stay in, I have to stay with groups. Yeah. I feel safe being with this man. Yeah. I don't approach anybody. And you stick together like I glue? I stick together like glue, we're together. I will stick with this man now and kill my man comes out of no mix time. Yeah. And is there any help from the local authority? This man now and kill my man comes out of no mix time. Yeah. And is there any help from the local authorities? And he's okay with that? You just, you, you here for the moment, not forever. That's tough. For you. Listen, they're rich, but they're not very supportive, Mike. If somebody made a reality TV show with homeless people, do you know how tuned in I would be? Like, they be having drama within their own little, like, community, but it'd be, like, <laughs> it'd be crazier drama. Like, that. somebody, please, pay them, of course, but, like, after you film... Not during you filming, like after you film, like, you know what I'm saying? Try to get their life on. Like, just make it a continued show. Like, like Jersey Shore was, how they had one cast, and then they brought up with them slowly but surely, and then they would, like, like change some, like, take, like, eight of them and put them all in one, like, area. The first, the first series got to be on the street, though. Then the second series, you got to see what, what, like, give them a little shack. You know what I'm saying? Put them all together. Not a shack, but, like, somewhere, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they got to be progressively making their life better. But, like, start at the bottom, though. Yeah. They want to stick to the HMOs for the junk. That's bogus. I want to see them for my entertainment. That's messed up for me to say, but, hey, listen. No, they're not supporting us, mate. They're taking them for money away. That's why they do it. Stick to I'm at HMOs. Full of addicts. We're stable. We yeah. don't do class A drugs, mate. I don't want to be put in that stable condition around that environment. That could lead me to doing it. Would you prefer to be on the streets than in one of those yeah, well, HMA yeah, situations? Yes, I, yes, I would. I've learned a lot about street vlogging today. I've learned that delving into the underbelly of a huge city as opposed to a seaside town is different gravy. You've got to have a completely different tactic to approaching people. Look at how many people There's are watching There's a lot more organisation to the streets and to the homeless community in um, in these big cities. Everybody. It's, uh, it's definitely harder to get interview subjects. People are less approachable and I think they're more worried about their opinions turning up on the internet. I'm making YouTube videos at the moment. Mm, don't want to do that, no. So yeah, every day, in every way, we learn, Cheeky we nandos. grow and we refine what we do. True. Hey, sir, can I ask you, where yes. are you going when you die? Where am I going? Yes, sir, can I ask Into you? the cosmos, my friend. Into the cosmos? Yeah. Sir, I'm, I'm afraid that's not an option. I am becoming the molecules and particles that I've always been. Sir, I'm afraid that's not an option. Why you is that have, not an option? Because you have two, one of two eternal destinations. You can either go to heaven or you can go to hell. So where, where do the homeless people sit in this whole um, narrative that you have? I, uh, the homeless people are this is the same as us. You know, God's not a respecter of persons. So the homeless people sin too. And whether they can accept salvation, just the same as that you and I can. <laughs> the way she was just pointing that wee wee at that mad lady. Across that lady face. Birmingham has changed a lot since I was a child. I grew up not a million miles from here and I used to visit the city for a sort of big day out to the big smoke and none of this was here. None of these huge skyscrapers, a very modern city now. But the city's always been. It is not a skyscraper. Quite a rough and ready city. It is a taller building, but skyscraper, no. Its roots are firmly entrenched in the industrial revolution and 
the industry that followed in this part of the world. I like Birmingham, man. It kind of looked like Chicago, low key, with shorter buildings. And consequently, it's a real down to earth, rough and ready place. Good people, good sense of humor, but life on the streets must be incredibly dangerous. Every time somebody see a camera, like you just gotta do something. And incredible. Just be normal. Be hard for those that suffer from it. My name's Stephen Ellis. Yeah, and how how is your life on the streets? My in life Birmingham? at the minute in Birmingham is tough at the minute. It is tough on the street. Oh man, hold on, dang. I'm gonna edit this out. I forgot I put something in the oven. I'm gonna burn the, burn the crib down. Yeah, my bad, but y'all not even gonna see that. It's gonna be like a quick little flash on the screen and I'm gonna be back. So, W editing skills of mine, you feel me? On the streets. My life at the minute in Birmingham is tough at the minute. It is tough on the streets. It's, it, at night, it is scary being on your own, you know? And it's hard to get money now, food and drink. Count of people carrying knives around at night. A lot of knife crime. Yeah, knife crime. And is that the homeless crime. or is that the... That's for homeless people and for people in general, yeah? Yeah. People are drunk, you know, they want to start on the homeless people and lying there in the streets with your sleeping bag. Yeah. Give you a kick in, stuff like that. So do you find, like, places outside the city centre that are, are safer, safer think, to yeah. sleep at night? Definitely, yeah, definitely. So I what? find out outside the city centre. So do you find that the city centre is the dangerous place at night? At night, and yeah. And you have to find, like, a quiet place? Quieter place, yeah. yeah. Quieter streets, like, yeah. And how far out do you have to Probably venture to do Probably about a mile, that? half a mile. Okay. Yeah. And obviously you, you've got your little secret spots. To yeah, yeah, got a little spots, yeah, little and spots. Do you have yeah. people that, like, um, that you trust on the streets? Like, yeah. Like, others that you can call friends? That, yeah, yeah, You know, you, you group up with the yeah, 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 I've got a couple of friends, yeah, that are safe for safety, yeah. yeah. Definitely, yeah. And how long have you been on the streets? I've been on the streets about eight months now. Okay. Yeah. Dare I ask if you don't? I feel like I've been here. Like, <laughs> this is how familiar this be. Mind yeah. what led to that? What led to that was my ex missus sleeping behind my back, and I had three, three kids, four three kids with her, and she slept behind my back, and I ended up hitting the bottle, drinking, you know, and it led to drink, you know, yeah. and I lost my house. L wife, it's L commitment. It's my job and everything. Yeah. 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 Like some people, they just ignore you and they just want to. That's crazy because you don't really even know these people's stories. Like, that's three people he didn't come across that had unique, like, different, like, stories. And you just, like, us in our everyday day, like, man, I'm not. You did that to yourself. Like, we don't know what you like. Like, we assume all homeless people, a lot of us assume all homeless people are. Nitties, but that's just not the, the truth, it appears to seem. Well, you know, we're all you, it can happen to anyone, yeah. you know, so yeah, it is hard. Do you get moved on a lot as well? Yeah, like, we do, like, yeah, by the boardings and stuff. I, yeah. I generally have made these videos in like seaside towns, like I live in Cornwall, yeah. oh, I've right. been to Brent Devon, places like that, I'm up to yeah. Yorkshire okay. in a few days, and it's been quite hard to sort of like nail down the areas to sit and talk to people yeah. because it seems that the authorities are moving you on yeah, constantly. Definitely. Yeah, they are all the while. Yeah. Because they, they want to keep the town centre, all the, obviously this is worth millions and millions every day, yeah. and they want to keep the town centre like free of these like visual, yeah. you know, blights, one would call it. Yeah. So like, how does it make you feel like when they move you on? Like frustrating if you yeah, find a good... very frustrating, yeah. What are the drugs at the moment that are the big problems? In yeah, the mamba, the mamba is the big problem. Is yeah. Still? Synthetic marijuana? Yeah, is it? yeah, synthetic marijuana. That's ruining it for all the homeless people. That's why no one wants to give you any change or anything or yeah. help you. Like the time it's all the same brush, you know? Yeah. I've made 20. That's what see that. that. See, it's like a few ruining it for everybody. It sounds like. Be looking in Harry, you know? Yeah. Candy and liquor. That's, that's, that's tough. Today's video has been a tough one to make. Some of the stories I've heard from the people on the streets, the, uh, the life that they have to live and the situation.
phone booth is crazy. Nations that they have to live through. It's hard to hear and it's hard to understand what they go through. And I can now see why people from the big cities, people from London, Birmingham, Manchester, why the homeless migrate towards the seaside because it definitely is safer. Still not safe, but much safer than the big city. All right, man, that's eye-opening. No cap, man. Appreciate you for even making this, man. TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, I'm gone.